Well, welcome to Random and Desperate. Now today we're in Marsden and we're going to have a look round. It's called Stan Edge Tunnel. It's just up there. It's three miles long, that particular tunnel. And there's a visitor centre where we're going to visit today. Now I'll tell you a bit before we enter this tunnel. I say this took round about 16 years to build and cost the lives of 50 people and there's the tunnel just down there and it's three miles long it's the biggest tunnel in the UK and it was originally designed for narrow boats to go down there as you can imagine years ago there used to be no horses so what they had to do they, when they went in that tunnel they had to go there to lie on, on the canal on their on their boat and actually push their way push with the arms and legs to get through that tunnel it's pitch black there three miles long and look at that now there is another tunnel which is just above there which if you just see the train what comes through but absolutely marvelous but there is a visitor center which we're going to visit so come and join us on our little adventure around the visitor center in marsden and there it is the stan edge tunnel the biggest one in the UK, three miles long. Wow, and it cost the lives of 50 men. And I'm joined today by my two special guests, which is Captain Cow and the legend, <laughs> and the legendary, the famous Auntie Ethel. Have a look. You see some of where I'm in. See them. Look at them canal boats just down there. There is about the construction of the. There's the men. The old dig with very hot. Very high expense, but imagine the men. There is that tunnel what we've just seen. But you can imagine the men of its time digging with explosives, with let's just say tools. Wow. I like seeing these, all these figures. That's what the things you used to do back then. These are the tools they used to do, use. Absolutely marvellous to be honest with you. Wow. Look at them old lights there. I like how they, they put the patterns on, on the edges. Now this is absolutely free to get in, which is a major bonus. And what do you think of it? It is, yeah. Look at here. Old pictures. Looks like you used to be able to walk in this tunnel at one point. Did you tours? Is that, is that, is, is that, is that, the, is that, the canal, that can't be the canal one, that's got to be something else. So, can't what, be the canal. But why did they build this tunnel for three miles long, which was a major, let's just say a major yeah. achievement in itself, especially in, I think it started in construction in 17, 8, 7, 17, 8, 94 it started, and it was finished the construction in 1811. Wow. Oh, oh, seven Oh, Good water. It was, it was, it was a transport for uh, coal all over the place, and, 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 and it, it met up with the bridge. The horses there. Mm -hmm. The horses couldn't fit in them tunnels, no, couldn't they? Yeah, no, they'd be swimming. They'd <laughs> be swimming horses. Wow. They're doing the best for But it is an interesting. It's in Wales as well, like that. They used to have the canals in Wales, didn't they? 
from Birmingham that way I think they yeah. used to have to take them over at tops <laughs> well this is how they used to transport goods around the country and they had a bit of a dilemma back here because of the hills you see the hills around Marsden so that's why they build this tunnel which is three miles long I say we come, we've come to Marston. We do go a bit of the ale trail as well, but I just want to, I just wanted to document this little bit. Now the men who actually build this tunnel or actually dug into the tunnel was only paid between five and six pence per week. I thought there was a cafe or something. There is, um, just that, at their gates where I'm at the cell. Alright, well should we go and visit the cafe? I thought that's where we were going to Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, is it that building there? Yeah, that's the building there. Well, there's a little tour inside the, inside the museum itself, and it's definitely worth a visit, to be honest with you. Just have a look at the, the history and the feel of it. Now, we're going to head towards the cafe to have some to eat as well as have a look at that glorious tunnel three miles long absolutely marvellous but it adds absolutely beautiful round and they here. pull boats straight yeah you can't get you can't come through on your own yeah you've got to be pulled by one of them yeah i just want to show you that is the tunnel itself the main tunnel look at the look at the bars now apparently a normal canal boat can't go up in there on its own it has to be tucked by an another boat now you can go on the same venture trips which you see there absolutely stunning but you can't even see three miles long that is wow look at that unbelievable beautiful three miles long and this is the main tunnel tunnel itself I just want to show you uh, imagine the men back then actually digging and getting all the water imagine the water the smell now I say look at this little pleasure boat but we're gonna go for something to eat Well, there it is, folks. Just to, just to the uh, Stand Edge Tunnel in Marsden. Absolutely, a little little tour around it. Now we did go in the cafe, but I'm not paying seven quid for a sandwich, no chance. There's a bakery up there, which which we're going to head now. Now, as I said, to go in that tunnel, you have to have a member of the Canal Trust team on board to go through, just in case there's any issues. And apparently, there is certain places where. It does widen. It'd be interesting to go. So if you're ever here and you ever go on that tour, that tour boat there, let me know. Let me know. So thanks for enjoying on my little adventure looking at tunnels. <laughs> Off to the bakery, which I'll share at the end of this video. Thanks for watching, people. Well, we, we are in Marsden now, and we're what we're going to do. We're heading towards the Riverhead Brewery, which is just across this river. On. A nice little country. Well, this used to be a And it's a nice little, it reminds me of the, like the Last Summer Wine kind of place. There it is, Master. And that's where we're heading for more golden nectar. Before I hit the pub crawl, I just want to show you this abandoned warehouse. Look at them tunnels there, marvellous. Wow, beautiful. Well, the bakery is not open over there in Marsden, so we just popped that little cafe which is just there. And we have got, I've got cheese and onion toasting and some red stuff. Oh, 